Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Stephen and we've got Megan. But don't just sit there, my wee cream buns. Come on, let's play. Pass the parcel. Go! That's well done. Stop! I'm going. Is you, Stephen? You take off some paper. No, you've not won. No. And play. I'll not play. Oh! Oh, it's Stephen again. Right. Oh, we making maybe this time it's you. He is going to win. We've got Stephen and we've got Megan, but someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Money? Who's that? Yes, it's Samson with Dr. Juno. Hello there, Dr. Juno. Hello, I'm Samson. Come on, boy. Good boy. Come on. Come and see Granny. That's the way. Come and say hello to Samson, oh, everyone. Samson, look who's come to say hello. Oh, <laughs> gentle name, my Oh, darling. I see somebody's been unwrapping a present. Oh, yes. We've been having a present-giving day today. We're going to give Edith the lollipop lady a present. Oh, she deserves it. She's such a treasure. <laughs> How about stopping the pats and dressing Claude up as Edith the lollipop lady? Good idea, Granny Murray. Into your basket, Samson. Oh, I'll get a good view of Claude from there. And I'll tidy up some of this wrapping paper and give us a seat. I love scrunching wrapping paper. Can you help me? Oh, dear. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All done. So, you're giving Edith the lollipop lady a present, are you? Yes, it's a new computer game. Oh, she loves her computer. Oh, isn't she amazing? She must have been helping children across that road to that primary school for yonks. Oh, I remember her when I was a little girl. Yes, she's been helping children to cross safely for years. I know, she's always so kind and cheerful. She let me hold a lollipop once. Ah, well, you see, that's why we're giving her a present. A good deed deserves thanks. Too right, Granny Murray. Well, how about giving her a photo of Claude dressed like that? <laughs> <laughs> Here you are, Megan. Oh, wow, Claude. You'll be off to Edith's job next. And wait, he's got something in his pocket. <gasps> What's this? It's a leaflet about crossing the road safely. You take that with your poppet. Oh, thank you, Granny Murray. Right, I better be off to work. Bye, Samson. <coughs> be good for Granny Murray. <laughs> now remember, a good deed deserves thanks. Thank you, Granny Murray. See you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. Will you keep a wee eye on Dr Juno? Make sure she goes the right way to work. I'm in a bit of a hurry today. Which is the best way to work? Thank you. I'm in a need, in a hurry. I really, really need to speak to work. I'll take a, take a ticket on a truck way. I'll be, 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 be there quite quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry on the tram lines. Clutter, clutter, clutter at the points. Whining, 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 drives the speed up. Squeaker, 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 slows us down. Clutter, clutter, clutter through the street. That squeaker, squeaker to a stop. I'm in the need, in a hurry. I really, really need to speed to work. Oh, hurry, hurry, hurry. And hurry to get changed. All dressed and ready to go. Oh, I'll read this road safety leaflet later. Hmm, ten o'clock. Oh, Nurse Hendry, any patients yet? Uh, yes, we're quite busy actually, and there's a case I think you may want to take. Right, lead the way. Hello, Raymond. Oh, hello. Hello. What's happening with Jack and Lisa? Well, and Jack came over to play with Lisa. We were jumping on the bed and we bumped our heads. So you were playing kangaroos, were you? Yes. Oh, dear. We'll just have to check them over. Let's have a look. Have you guys got any headaches? No. Oh, that's good. Could you tell me what you had for breakfast? 
Cornflakes and yogurt. Oh, that's nice. Butter and toast. OK, that's nice too. Do you mind if I just check your eyes? Yes. Okay. I mean, no. Oh. OK. Good boy. There we go. Well done. Let's have a look. Good girl. Well, you've got no concussion, just two black eyes. We'll just have to put some ice packs on your eyes, won't we? <laughs> OK, Doc. Well, you both be right as rain in a couple of days, but there's a little lesson to learn here. Don't jump on the beds. Got that? Yes, Doctor General. Good. Right, I'll just leave you in the capable hands of Nurse Hendry. See you later. Well, I hope young Master Sampson is behaving himself for Granny Murray and not jumping up and down on her bed. I love to skip in rivers he mingle, rivers he mingle by the sea. I love to skip in rivers he mingle, rivers he mingle, that's for me. You stand here, darling. Sit. Good boy. Morning, my little sparkler. Morning. All ready to cross the road? Yeah. Me too. Come on in, darling. Come on, Angel. <laughs> in ya. This is for me and Samson. Oh, is it a present for yeah. me? It's to say thank you for being so kind and generous, Edith. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you, Megan. Thank you, Samson. Dr. Juno would be so proud of you. Not interrupting, am I? Oh, Raymond, come in. Have oh. a seat. So, are Lisa and Jack OK now? Oh, they're fine. Actually, I just wanted to thank you for looking after them so well. So... Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, wow, <laughs> you shouldn't have. This is fantastic. Oh, a little doggy, it's great. Oh, I'll put it right here next to my photo of Samson. Oh, thank you, Raymond. Oh, it's my pleasure. You deserve it. Ta-ta. <laughs> oh, bye, Raymond. Oh. oh, right, this'll never do. I better get down to some hard work. <laughs> It's so exciting in the hospital It's where the people who are ill get well Machines are buzzing to give us a thrill I'm rushing here and there to be here I'm rushing here and there to be here It's so exciting in the hospital Trolleys gliding patients through the corridors Flashing blue lights right up to the door I'm rushing here and there to be here I'm rushing here and there I'll be there to comfort you at all times I'll be there to see all is fine I'll be there whenever I'm needed, yeah To hear the heartbeat beating time Don't worry, I'll always be kind I'll bring a smile and take Really hard morning so far. Oh, look, Claw's road safety leaflet. Let's have a look. Find a safe place to cross the road and stop at the curb. Look all around for traffic and listen. Oh, wait until it's safe to cross and let the traffic pass. Ooh. Oh, walk across the road, don't run, keep looking and listening out for traffic. Oh, arrive alive. That way, you won't end up in my hospital, will you? I hope Samson's stopping and looking and listening. Samson, what's wrong, darling? That's not like you to be barking. 
come on now. But he was being a good boy, Granny Murray. He was barking to stop Ben running out onto the road. Oh, oh. he's a clever dog. Well done, Samson. Oh, wait till we tell Doctor. Do you know how good you've been? <laughs> I can't wait to see you later, Samson. <laughs> You've been working so hard all day, Dr. Juno, but it's quieting down a bit now, so I've made you some tea. Oh, my hero, that's just what I needed. <laughs> and some of your favourite biscuits too. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh. oh, your beaker. Oh, must be a new patient. Don't worry, I'll sort it out. You drink your tea. <laughs> oh. Actually, I think you better come and sort this out after all, Dr. Juno. Coming. Your dog saved Ben from running out on the road, so I brought you a little present. Oh, um, thank you. Bye. Oh, I'm so glad Samson saved Ben. Oh. Everything all right, Doc? Oh, I don't know. I'm not really sure. Oh, I have a funny feeling something's not quite right. Like what? Um, I don't know. Something. Um, Oh, I can't work it out. Hmm. See, I've been working really hard all day, but I have a funny feeling I've got to do something. But what? Where did the time go? At nine o'clock, I dropped off Samson at Granny Murray's. Granny Murray told me she was taking Samson to give a present to Edith, the lollipop lady, to say thank you for being so kind and cheerful. At 10 o'clock, I got to work. Nurse Henry asked me to see two patients, Lisa and Jack. They'd been bouncing on the bed and bumped their heads, the naughty pickles. They were soon OK, though. At 11 o'clock, Raymond gave me a lovely toy dog as a thank you present for looking after Lisa and Jack. It reminded me of Samson. Then, at 1 o'clock, I learnt all about crossing the road safely from Claude's special leaflet. Stop, look and listen. At two o'clock, Ben's mum brought me a present to say thank you. At the park, Samson had saved Ben from running out into the road. But I still can't work out what it is I should be doing. Now remember, a good deed deserves thanks. A good deed deserves thanks. <gasps> That's it! I knew there was something I hadn't done. I need to say thank you to Samson for being such a clever dog. I'm coming, my waggy friend. It's a race against time. I've got to do it, I've got to do it I've got to beat the clock before the chime I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it I've got to do the job on time Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done? Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? Yes, I'm sure she will get there in the end Because she knows what she should do I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna start it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Hello, Angel. What are you doing here? Well, I just had to pop round to give Samson a special present as a thank you for being such a clever dog and for being my special waggy friend. Oh, come on in. Oh, no, no, no. I'm due back at the hospital, but I will pop back to pick him up later. OK, bye-bye, darling. Well, I do hope Samson enjoys his special present while I finish up at work. Oh, I wonder what your present can be, Samson. <gasps> Let's see. Oh, it looks like a... a bone. There you go. You wouldn't want your tea when Dr. Juno comes to pick you up later. Dr. Juno, come away in. Samson, look <laughs> nice. Samson. Hey, good boy. Did you have a nice time with Granny Murray? Oh, Samson wants to say thank you. And thanks from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. A good deed deserves thanks. It saved the day. Oh, gracious. Come on now, you'll want to be off. Come on, Samson. Bye-bye.
Bye, my darlings. I'm looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Samson. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye bye, closing, waking, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sticking up and wiping round, washing up and slushing down. Then there was hugging, squishing, rocking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shading, choosing, talking, cooking, drying, cleaning, saving, painting, loving, joking, losing things and rushing round. really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as Edith, the lollipop lady, because the children and I wanted to give Edith a special present. It was to say thank you to Edith for helping the children to cross the road safely all these years. Afterwards, we took Samson for a run in the park. He started to bark at little Ben and I thought Samson was being naughty, but he wasn't. He was barking to stop Ben running out onto the road. What a clever dog! Ben's mum took Dr Juno a special present to say thank you. Dr Juno brought the special present round for Samson because she remembered that a good deed deserves thanks. Samson loved his present. A big juicy bone. Look what the children gave me today as a thank you for looking after them. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie.